Ladies and gentlemen, tonight I think we are going to be seeing musical history. We'll certainly be hearing it. We know that the maestro is about ready to take the stage. And I want to tell you that in Stockholm, he played one of the most difficult violin concertos ever written, the Elgar B minor number no. three. And when he traveled on to Hamburg, he played Shostakovich's number no. one. We don't know what to expect this evening. We hope he's on his best behavior. Of course, he's often had to defend himself from critics saying, I am a total universe unto myself. But here with the Duchess and the Duke in the audience, she in her finest gown, bedecked in jewels, and the Duke, of course, wearing the black tie and tux, we expect a very, very gripping performance. Now, what we've heard before, we have no reason to think that this won't be the most memorable night in musical history. Well, this audience who has been waiting for so long, they're getting restless. There's a little bit of applause, but we expect this performance to begin at any moment. and gentlemen, this audience is absolutely stunned by what they've heard and seen. The maestro came out dressed as a farmhand about ready to pick cotton, and the overt barnyard sounds of that tune were nowhere near what we've come to expect. The elegance and grace of this theater has been defiled. This was absolutely disgraceful. I'm sure this audience is stunned.
Oh, I can't believe it. Well, it had to happen. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. They are expressing disapproval of this performance. It was absolutely horrid. Look at the mouth. I can't believe what I'm hearing from the Duchess.